Cameron Moreland. With temperatures in the 20s this afternoon, today was the first day with highs below 30 since February 20th, but warmer weather is moving in as we wrap up November and move into December. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. We're going to see lower to mid 30s over the weekend. That's warmer. Still below normal, but warmer. We'll see upper 30s to around 40 then as we wrap up November and move into December, Wednesday and Thursday. Right now we are looking at widespread 20s. The cold spot is Sturgeon Bay coming in at only 21. In Appleton, it is cloudy and 25. In Green Bay, we're looking at temperatures that are also in the mid-teens. We have overcast conditions and a southerly wind at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. While we were in the 20s today, it was much warmer to our west. 50s, 60s, and even some 70s. It's real easy to pick out the jet stream tonight on the weather map. It's right there and along the jet stream tonight into tomorrow. We're going to watch an Alberta Clipper drop south and east towards Wisconsin. You can see that Alberta Clipper right now moving into far northwestern Minnesota. Not a whole lot going on right now across Wisconsin or Minnesota, but once you get north and west of International Falls, you can see this area of snow now blossoming. That area of snow is headed our way. So as you take a look at Skycast, you will watch that Alberta Clipper move in from the north and west late tonight into tomorrow morning. Morning. We'll have some flurries or some light snow early and then light to occasionally moderate snow pretty much for the rest of the day. Right now, based on the very latest information, it looks like the heaviest snow will fall from roughly the Fox Cities north with lighter amounts to the south and west. So I would say a dusting to a couple of inches here from around Fond du Lac to Berlin up towards around the Fox Cities and then north and east of the Fox Cities. It looks like most locations will pick up about two to four inches. So if you are hunting tomorrow, it's going to be snowing flurries at sunrise, which is at 704. Temperatures will be in the upper 20s. We'll see snow then pretty much all day long right through sunset, which is at 415. We'll have southeast winds switching over to the north late in the day with highs in the lower 30s. Here's a look at your go pack go forecast for Sunday. Lots of sunshine, but windy and cold. Temperatures for tailgating will be in the mid 30s at kickoff right around free with wind chills in the 20s and northwest winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour. By the fourth quarter, temperatures will fall into the mid 20s with wind chills dropping into the teens. So your forecast for tonight calls for cloudy skies. Temperatures will hold pretty much steady from here on out, mainly in the mid 20s. Tomorrow it's going to snow. We'll see highs in the lower 30s, but there'll be a range upper 20s north mid 30 south. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 32. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Eats for East. And we did that today. I forecast a high of 29 and the actual high temperature was 28. As we move into Sunday, mostly sunny temperatures will be below normal, lower to mid 30s with that gusty northwest wind. Chance for some light snow Monday morning, a dusting to maybe an inch. Highs around freezing. Tuesday, the final day of November, look for highs in the mid 30s. Wednesday, we officially move into meteorological winter with a high in the upper 30s, right around 40 on Thursday, maybe a rain shower. And then, Jenna, it looks like it'll turn sharply colder as we make our way into next weekend. But be careful tomorrow. It's been a couple weeks since we've had right. that amount of snow. The roads will be slippery. Slow down. Take your time. Yeah, it's all about just getting used to those, you know, the anti lock brakes kicking in. You, yes. just, you just get used to that. That's right. <laughs> it's always kind of a wake up. <laughs> Thanks, Cameron. <laughs> Coming up on NBC 20.